Hey you guys, welcome back to Zindi. So today we are in Adobe Illustrator and I wanted to share with you how to make a design similar to this. It's super easy, especially in Adobe. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and type out whatever you want to have in your design. We're just gonna do the same thing we did here, uh, just the word Zindi three times. You can do several lines, you can do more, less, your choice. All right, so we're gonna just put those there. Well, you know what, let's just do four. Since we got four, let's do four. And then as far as spacing between, you just wanna kinda of have um, even spacing, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And not having big gaps between the lines is also a really good idea. You'll get a better look for your design if you don't have big spaces. And then you can go ahead and change the color now if you have a specific color in mind, but you can always change it later too if you're not ready to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and change it now because once we expand it, it takes a little bit more time. Okay, so we have our lines of text. We're gonna select it all. And before we go ahead and warp it, I'm gonna drag this down just to get a better uh, coverage of my area. So before it was kind of long and thin. Uh, the, these designs work better when they're more of a square shape. Okay, so see how this is more of a perfect square now that I stretched it a bit. Okay, we're gonna select it all. We're gonna go to Object. We're gonna go to Envelope Distort and we're gonna click Make with Warp, okay? This dialog box will come up. Make sure Preview is selected. If not, when you change things, you won't see the change. So once you click Preview, then you'll see the change, okay? The one we're gonna use today is Wave. And then from here, you can always make adjustments if you don't like the direction the wave is going or if you want it to be a stronger wave, if you want it to start the opposite direction, so on and so forth. I'm gonna stay right around 40% for this one because uh, I like the look of this one. And then we're gonna press OK. Now from here, if you're gonna cut it with vinyl or paper, you, you're gonna need to expand this to be actual cut lines. So to do that, you just go to Object, same place we went before, Envelope Distort, and we're gonna click Expand. Okay, now this is expanded. You can pick individual letters, adjust them different colors. Like say if we wanna just have random ones, a different color, you can do that here, okay? So, you see on this one, I went ahead and added an offset, a couple offsets, a, sm a small one and a large one. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, we're gonna move this over. All I did is copy and paste that. Now from here, we're gonna go to Object, Path, Offset Path. We're gonna do 0 0.02 inches. You can do it more or less. So like say if I wanna do 0.1, it looks like that. 0.5 looks like that. But we're gonna do a, a thin one right now. So 0 0.02, 0 0.02 inches. I like the round joins rather than the miter or the bevel. And then make sure, again, you click Preview. That way you can actually see what you're doing. Press OK. We're going to just select it all. We're going to make it all the same color. I'm just going to do black for that. Select it all. And we're going to go ahead and merge that together. Okay? So now it's all one piece. We're going to send that to the back. Zoom in so we can get this in the proper location. And there we go. Now we have our offset. If you want to add an even bigger one, same thing. Command C, Command V. All I'm doing is copying and pasting. Object, path, offset path. And this time we're going to go a bit bigger. Let's do 0 0.05 inches. Press OK. And then for this one, we're just select all and we're gonna merge and unite. So it's all one big piece. And we'll just do an even lighter pink. Send that to the back. And that's that. Super easy, just a simple retro design um, done in Adobe Illustrator. You can make it larger or smaller. Again, here you can go ahead and change any colors you want. 
So if we want to go ahead and add some other ones in different colors, we can do that. Tons of options. So hope that helps you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.